Good evening, Northeast Kansas. Thanks for joining us here on KSNT News. A complete turnaround from the heat and humidity yesterday, and it's going to stick around for tonight. Much more comfortable sleeping weather. So, if you want to give the air conditioning a break, it looks like you'll be able to do so for tonight. Most of Saturday looks to be quiet, but we could see some rain chances return as early as late tomorrow night and possibly spilling over into your Sunday as well. But a closer look at that is still to come. Otherwise, it is a beautiful day still outside of the Prairie Band Casino in Mayette. Right now, not even seeing any clouds in the sky. And we're seeing just a few overhead of Junction City, but really, that's it. We've cleared out nicely since some of those morning showers and storms rolled through, but it's kept us on the cooler side behind that cold front. We're at 79 degrees right now. Our high was only 80, but look at where we started this morning. 72, so it's been a very slow increase in our temperatures today, but all in all, it's been a warm day across the region. Just not quite as warm as it was yesterday. Now we're a mix of 70s and 80s across the board. 74 at Hiawatha, 79 to the south in Burlington, as well as Emporia. A pair of 81s for Junction City, as well as Manhattan. Now, not only does it feel noticeably cooler, it feels much more comfortable as well. When that cold front swung through last night, it took all of the humidity with it. Dew points in the 40s and 50s means you're not feeling any sort of humidity in the air, and that will stick around for the weekend as well. It will be very comfortable. But behind in that cold front, we're still dealing with some breeze, breezy conditions out there, anywhere from about 5 to 15 mile per hour north and northwesterly winds. We've been stuck with southerly winds the past couple of days. You get northerly flow, and that's also going to filter in some cooler air, and that's behind that cold front as well. Satellite and radar shows how much we've quiet, quieted down since this morning. Just some scattered showers a little bit closer to Wichita, but nothing in our area will stay quiet throughout the night. And in fact, for most of the weekend, you can see just how little activity is going off to our west, and that's what we can expect leading into the weekend. But there are a couple of changes we want to address for our forecast for this weekend. Now, starting off early tomorrow morning, 7 a.m., we stay mostly clear through tonight into the start of tomorrow. We'll start to see the clouds build in as we get later on in the day, but this is where I start to disagree with this model. I think it's pushing it in a little too soon. We were looking at maybe some spotty rain chances late Saturday, closer to Sunday. We're stopping here now at 6 o'clock, and you can see some of those showers and a little bit of storm activity starting to push into our western areas. I think this is still a long shot because we'll still have a decent amount of dry air in place that this might not make it to northeast Kansas as early as this model and one other model's picking up on. But still, as we get later into the day on Saturday, closer to the nighttime hours, we could start to see some of those scattered showers and storms. And that activity lasts into the first half of Sunday as well. But I still think overall, this model being a little bit too aggressive with our rain chance, just looking at some sc or scattered rain chances periodically throughout the weekend. But we'll still mix in plenty of dry time. You can see 3 p.m. here dealing with just a mix of sun and clouds for Sunday. For tonight, though, again, going to be a mild one, 55 degrees, mainly clear across the region. And our KSNT Storm Track 7 day forecast shows this comfortable stretch sticks for the weekend. 70s and 80s is what we're looking at with a better chance of some scattered storms beginning on Monday. I think we'll get a slight break on Tuesday before we get even more stormy activity mixing in for the later half of the week. We're not looking at washouts just yet, but it is still quite a few days away. So we'll keep you updated right here on KSNT News with that.